Hey guys, what's up? Tall and Skinny here. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I did in fact pass the 600 million barrier. So, congrats to me. Um, level 85, 603 million BR, and I'm on my way to 1 billion. Hey, hey. Alright, so, <laughs> basically, um, just to show you guys what I did, I did get my Anzu wings. And I awakened them quite a bit. Um, pretty amazing. And if you didn't see my video, I'd like to point out that getting um, my attack emblem to um, red really increased my BR by about 8 million. So that was amazing. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about armor so in order to upgrade your armor you go down to the circle down at the bottom right hand corner and then you go to the plate chest and here you can do in enhance refine augment reforge socket and enchant yes this is a lot to go through so i will be posting um time stamps however let's start off with enhance Enhance is just, um, you're able to enhance after every level, um, and this gives, um, just a little bit of BR, not too much. It costs gold to enhance, you can quick enhance, and, um, it also gives a bonus, but it, it caps at, um, level, um, probably the max level however you can tell that it doesn't really give that much br um, what really does give a lot of br is advance and in order to get to advance you go to enhance and then advance and in here you can see um, i've been enhancing or er, advancing things um, i stop at level 48 or level 50 or something like that because of the bonuses, um, if you go to rank bonus, you can see um, each equipment has a bonus of its own once you uh, advance to level 40 or rank 40 um, and then rank fifth, rank 80 as well uh, gives bonuses. So each item gives different bonuses. It doesn't matter which items that you get first. However, I like to get my attack items first. Um, to rank 40 and you can also see that there's another bonus in here for getting total ranks um, I'm not sure what the first bonus is but as you can tell it goes up by quite a lot um, I'm at 302 and I only activated the 200 rank bonus and next is 500 ranks so that's quite a lot um, so, in order to advance, you need anvils, and you need um, the orange, uh, these things, one second, these dragon shards. You need a couple of these, and then every so level, it requires you to have anvils, and where to get them is the Eternium shop, so get to... Um, shop and then eternium and in, in here you can buy these um dragon shards are free from tower of eternity all that you have to do is just complete the tower of eternity and if you didn't notice once you um complete tower of eternity you can go to the dark tower of eternity just by clicking on the top left circle it's a uh, a skull with um red and it gets you here and um it requires a ton of dps so anyway um so yes eternium shop you can get anvils and dragon shards and it is required to advance every so-and-so level or rank i believe that it's um every five ranks and then the anvils go up for every um enhance so as you can tell for 19 to 20 it's 50 and for 24 to 25 it's 75 
and um, for 34 to 35 it's 140 so it increases exponentially every time that you have to increase um, great for BR incredible I can't express this enough go in here and do this um, if you're able to you can get anvils from the Alice chests or whatever the hell they're called uh, you can get them from there I strongly suggest spending the diamonds to get this because um, well for me just getting these to rank 40 and increase my BR by a million and a half so that's quite a bit Next, um, let's go to refine. Refine is, um, it requires refining stones and armor fragments. Um, the recipes, recipes are achieved from, are received from the battles. Um, and in order to get to battles, you exit out of here and then you just go to battle up at the top right hand corner. <clears throat> And you can tell just by clicking on um, any one of these numbers, you can see what it awards. So there's a chance to obtain weapon um, rank 14 and you can just keep going. Um, some of them don't give anything. So in here, basically, you just complete the whole thing and then you can blitz them for quicker access. Now, let me go back here and explain this a little bit more. Um, as you can tell, it's for um, level 65 to 69, it requires you to have rank 14 recipes. Um, and then if you do the math backwards, it goes rank 13, rank 12. So when you guys start off, it'll be rank rank 1 equipment. And it's correspondent to the, um, the battle. So you're getting rank 14 equipment from chapter 15. Rank 13 equipment from chapter 14. And so on. Um, now, there is a quick way to f access the chapters, and that is just by clicking on the item that you want to enhance and then going to its recipe under materials. And then you can just click on chapter, uh, whatever chapter it shows, and then you can just go to Blitz. And this is what it looks like when you Blitz, and then you can see that I got only four fragments or recipes but I also got refining stones and this is a good place to get refining stones just by blitzing now um, you can also get refining stones from adventure and then scenario as you can tell uh, just for completing 10 scenarios you get 30 refining stones um, for five star scenario it gives six and I'm not exactly sure what it gives, but you can just go to auto go and it'll do it all on its own. Uh, once you collect all of the scenarios, you'll get like maybe 200, 250 refining stones. And then you can go refine your armor. Now, once you're done refining your armor, um, you want to go to array. Um, you can either do array first or you can refine your armor. It doesn't really matter because they don't have anything to do with each other. But array is just like advance in it costs um, every five ranks. It costs a different item than what you have to start out with. So in Array, um, it requires alchemy chests, charms, alchemy charms, and it also requires refining stones. And the amount for each level increases as you 
um, level up. But again, like I said, every four levels. And as well, there is a bonus for um, total upgrades. And it's 200, 300, um, or 200, 500. And then, you know, it increases exponentially. And then there's different um, channels or, you know, it's kind of like... Um, grace where it starts off green and then it goes you know blue but each of these don't give any bonuses it's just this has a cap this has a cap and then so on and then as you can tell inside of here um, there is a rank 40 bonus a rank 80 bonus and um, it's good to get the bonuses so come in here get the bonuses and then move on and then upgrade everything to 80 and then you know so come in here get everything 40 40 40 40 40 40 40 and then 80 80 80 80 and then so on uh, that's the best way to do it that is what I'm doing um, as you can tell I kind of went overboard but that's all right because I'll have to get these to 80 eventually so um, Yes, that does give bonuses. It's great. Um, and then it also gives level bonuses. So does the other one, Advance. It gives level bonuses. Um, and in here it goes blue, purple, and then I don't know what the other colors are because I haven't awakened that much, but that's all right. So, Augmenting. Um, augmenting has the same exact thing, except for it's more like... Um, Ascension in Wrath Wings, and uh, for every rank, um, once you get a rank to like each equipment to rank 50, then it'll turn these stars into red, and then it'll keep changing them. Um, but let's look at Sun Star Shine first. So you come in here, you upgrade, it costs augmenting stones. Augmenting stones are available in all of these areas. Um, Mystic chest, plunder, guild shop, guild pet, um, guild workshop. And also, um, you can get it from just worshipping in your guild. Um, guild worship, it gives augmenting stones. I already collected them, but... <clears throat> It gives you free augmenting stones just for logging in. Um, you can also get it from the world boss, killing world boss. You get guild chests. Um, you can open the guild chest to get um, to get augmenting stones. You can get augmenting stones all over the place. So you, you're definitely not going to be um, absent of augmenting stones. Unless you use them all, obviously. But... In order to open Advanced Star, you have to have everything rank 20 augmented. So come in here, augment. Um, it costs <clears throat> augmenting stones, and then some ranks require different uh, equipment, like the light stones. Um, these things right here. Are used for um, augmenting equipment from 11 to 20 and then augmenting stones so you start out with the augmenting stones for um, 1 to 10 and then it requires augmenting stones and light stones for 11 to 20 and then it requires star stones from 21 to 30 and all of these are available in guild chests or you know um, even events um, for instance super sale you can get them here as you can see the top line um, super buy or super sale you can get them from here augmenting stones light stones all that stuff for diamonds um, so you'll be you'll once you start playing more you'll be able to find them but this video is just uh, explaining that there's bonuses and, you know, 
um, advanced star level in augment. So augmenting doesn't give much BR. However, this does. It gives a heck of a lot of BR. Um, you come in here, you just click on an item, rank it up. Um, it gives extra stats up at the top right hand corner it tells you what stats so if you want to increase just elemental and attack then you can just do weapon or you know you come in here you change your items um, I haven't gotten any to rank 50 yet because it's new and you know I'm not exactly uh, level 99 like some people so all of their equipment is uh, you know anyway um so once you fill up this bubble on the left, just by um, ranking these up, it gives you star shine, and then the star shine bubble will fill up, and then you can upgrade. Um, and each upgrade level gives a different um, bonus, and so it's really good to um, augment your equipment as you're doing this. Um, Right now, I'm trying to get everything to um, 21 stars, so that way it'll increase my attribute bonus. And then I will come back in here, and I will just do this until rank until level 13. And then I will try and get everything to 22 stars. So as you can see, it works together. Don't just come in here, use everything, get everything ranked 50, because it's... And then you know, ignore augment because then you're just going to kind of cheat yourself out of a lot of BR. So come in here, get this, um, get this to 20 and then come in here, get this to level four and then go back and get everything to, um, you know, try and get 21 and then come back in here and get everything to level nine and then so on. And um, in here it does cost light stones as well as the other stones, um, star stones. It just depends on what rank that you're at for each armor. Um, and the only one that I've seen star stones and light stones are required on is my weapon. So you can use augmenting stones for quite a while. And then it starts requiring these um, only for a certain rank, like 30 and 35 or something like that, and then it goes back to augmenting stones. So, um, that pretty much covers this. Um, however, as you can tell, um, there's also more um, bonuses. So, underneath my the floating necklace, you can see in green it says increase advanced star level for star starshine experience um once you turn the stars different colors once everything is um you know rank 50 then you'll get the epic set bonus and then you know once it's rank um once it's rank 100 It'll be legendary, and then once it's rank 130, then it'll be the mythic set bonus. So once everything is, um, you know, mythic, then you'll get a huge um, bonus to your damage. And if you come in here, you can just scroll through. Shows you, shows you all the level bonuses. Um, so that's pretty much all that there is for that. Um and then, yes, there are bonuses just for augmenting. Um, as you can see, all refined to star tw um, to 20 stars. I got that for bonuses. Once I get it to 21 stars, then I'll only increase about 9,000. 9, but that's all right. <clears throat> it's just, it all adds up if you think about it. Um, you know, just for getting everything to 20 stars, I got like 200,000 BR. So um, come in here, augment. Now let's go to reforge. Um, reforge, it just increases your stats. Um, not significantly, but it all adds up, like I said. 
Um, and in order to get reforging stones, you can get them from the diamond shop, the obsidian shop, and city defense, um, as well as events like how I showed you earlier. Um, <clears throat> on the super sale, reforging stones are available. Uh, super tycoon, reforging stone. So you can get reforging stones everywhere. Um, I suggest not spending diamonds on reforging stones, augmenting stones, um, refining stones. Any of these do not spend diamonds on that. Because um, it's all just, you get it for free. So why rush it? Um, you know what I mean? So there's many more things to spend your diamonds on. But you just come in here, spread the love. Um, you can do times 1, times 10, or times 100. And um, this costs 50, 50, 50 gold. Um, this costs uh, or this costs 5 gold. 5,000, I'm sorry. 50,000 and then 500,000 gold. Um, uh, and then you can also super ref reforge. Um, I haven't done that at all because it's not worth it uh, to me. Because either way, there's still a cap. So, I mean, if you want to spend, you know, 2,500 diamonds just to get a little bit more, you know, to fill this up a little bit quicker, go ahead. But I honestly would not. Um, because it'll fill up eventually. There's no point. And then once it's filled up, reforging stones are useless. So, um, don't come in here wasting your diamonds. So there is a bonus, um, just for having all rank nine equipment, all rank eight equipment, um, all equipment to rank 12 gives a massive amount of BR just for getting rank 12. Um, versus rank 11, so, um, I only need three more pieces to get the rank 10 bonus, uh, but anyway, um, let's go to socket. Socket is important that you socket all the same levels before you move on, so by that, I mean, as you can see, my weapon has all level 7 gems in it. And this is what I get for having all level 7 gems. <clears throat> I get an extra 10,000 HP, um, 1,000 attack, 1,000 elemental attack, and so on. You can read it for yourself, but it gives me 1,100 BR. And then at, at all, um, all level 8 gems, I get 22,000 BR, and it just doubles. So... It starts out at all level 1 gems. It gives you 220 BR, and that's why it's important. So come in here, you know, socket with all level 1 gems, and then move on to this one, all level 1 gems. Move on to all level 1 gems, all level 1, and then just keep upgrading. Um, so what I did is I counted how many attack gems that I need, and I got all two you know, all level one attack gems, and I socket them all in all of the equipment that requires attack gems, and then I went to elemental gems, and so on. So as you can tell, I have all, all of my required attack gems are level seven, and then I'm working on elemental gems at the moment, so all of these are level seven, all of these are level 7. I'm only missing one level 7. And then I'll go to HP. So um, I already have level 7 HP just from trying to get all attack and all of elemental. Um, and then I'll come in here and do attack and M defense, P defense, and so on. Um, that's how I did it. I think it's the easiest way to do it. But... Um, I'm going to show you guys where to get gems daily for free. Do not spend money on gems. Trust me. So you come in here. Once you finish a chapter, you can go to the elite stage. Um, elite stage gives random level one gems. And it also gives um, gem fragments. And once you've gotten the um, gem fragments, then you go to your equipment area 
go to socket and then gem fusion um in here be careful um because basically it doesn't have the quick fusion at the bottom but don't be fooled by all of the dotted lines or the numbers that are on here you can only make one um you can only make all of these into one um, unless you change the number of gems that you're making. But I just choose like, well, for instance, um, I just choose, you know, just one of these. When I come in here, I haven't made gems in a while because it costs too much gold. But when you come in here, um, it starts off on HP. So don't just come in here and just choose fusion, thinking that all of these will fuse. Um, it'll only be HP gems. And then when you go to rank two, you'll have a bunch of HP gems, but not many of these other ones. So come in here, choose whichever gem that you're trying to rank up. And um, be careful with that. It does take a little bit of strategy. Um, and thinking so don't come in here uh, you know drunk or something otherwise you're just gonna screw up um that's why i haven't done it in a while i've been high every day so um yeah so that's for gems um so you come in here you try and get everything to rank you know whatever rank is your highest gem and then you just keep moving um and like i said there's a bonus so free BR just for getting all the same gems. And um, yes, the bonus works. So just for weapon, I'm getting 11,000 BR. When I go to helmet, I'm getting 6,600. So each of these items has a bonus and it adds onto your BR. It's not a bonus for all equipment, just each equipment. So um that's all for diamonds let's go to enchant enchant is quite complicated um i haven't exactly perfected it but i did notice that um the supreme enchant can give you four um i guess uh i don't i don't know what to call them uh four embers maybe or four sockets um and five sockets so this is what the five socket looks like it's red um this is what four socket looks like this is what three socket looks like um but the only way to get five and four are from supreme chant supreme enchant and it costs a lot of diamonds um it's all random it's not guaranteed that it'll give you four or five so don't spend your diamonds on this. Um, I would suggest just waiting for Super Tycoon or regular Tycoon and getting the Supreme Enchant tokens. Um, that's all that I used for everything is Supreme Enchant tokens. Um, I got quite a lot of them just for getting uh, Enchant stones from the resource dungeons. So it's all random. Um, you know, each day it gives you different uh, different resource dungeon, but in here it gives quite a bit. And you can also get these from, you know, events um, like the one now. Um, and Super Sale, there's, there you go, just for spending diamonds you can get uh, enchant stones. <clears throat> But, uh, so when you come in here, um, it does cost either diamonds or gold to enchant, and there is a bonus, so, and it's only total bonus, not for each item, so I got 171, um, embers, and it gave me 12,498 bonus BR, um, so collectively there's a bonus. Uh, when you come in here, you're just going to see one platform. And once you level, get this, um, or possibly two platforms or something like that. So when you come in here, um, what you can do is you can go to enchant. And when you enchant, um, 
I'll try and find one. Uh, so they're all um, three stars, three. Uh, they all have three embers. But anyway, when you come in here, you can either um, enchant one time or you can go to quick enchant. And this is a bit complicated. People don't understand this. So I'm going to explain this um, in depth. So on the left, you have attributes. Um, if you want your your this selected level, um, this selected platform to only be attack, then you can choose attack. Um, if you want it to be attack, HP, um, critical, block, pierce, and hit only, then you can just click on those. Um, if you make a mistake, then you can just click on it again and it'll erase the selection. So um, if you feel like upgrading only defense, then you can go to your defenses. Um, or if you want to, you know, so you come in here, you can choose um, which attributes that you want. Um, what I've noticed is HP and attack and elemental give the most uh, BR. Um, so most people like to just choose either three of these, but then um, keep in mind that it is completely random and you can use all of your enchanting stones and not even get either one of these. Um, and to make things even more difficult and even more random and hard to get, you can choose how many embers that you want. So the more embers that you choose, the more, um, the less likely that you're gonna ch gonna get it. However, this makes it easy for you, so that way you don't have to um, spam click on the um, on the single enchant. You can just come in here and do quick enchant. So what I like to do when I have my supreme enchant scrolls is uh, I'll do this. Um, I'll choose four to five embers only. And I don't really care what attributes um, are chosen. I just want everything four to five first. Um, and then um, you can choose auto purchase insufficient materials. And I would choose not to do that because that would cost diamonds. Um, but you come in here and then you choose supreme enchant. Or regular enchant. Um, if you don't, um, just so that way you can save all of your, your, um, just a, a tip for you guys. So you don't waste your time. Uh, don't try and get four and five embers. Um, because, um, don't try and get four and five if you're going to do regular enchant. Because you will not get it. So come in here and do um, maybe two to three embers or two to five embers um, with regular enchant uh, because that's more likely to come up uh, successful. And then when you go to supreme enchant, do four to five only. Do not do two to five or three to five. Do four to five only. Um, otherwise, you're just wasting your scrolls. So you come in here, you can do quick enchant. And then when you do quick enchant, it'll just keep flashing attributes in front of you until it comes up four or five or whatever, how many embers that you want it to stop on. <clears throat> um, so that's basically it for enchant. Just come in here, um, start off on this one, and then keep going to the right. And as you can tell, after two platforms, um, it increases the, it changes the requirement. So uh, these are basic enchant stones. These two right here are advanced enchant stones. And then these are supreme enchant stones. Um, Supreme Enchant Stones are harder to find. That's why I have a lot less. And um, so, and that's also why I haven't uh, enhanced the um, stats. So after you get all of the platforms to where you want them to be, you can enhance them. Um, 
there's a little arrow next to it. You can go in here and each time that you level it up, it increases the um, attributes. As you can see, um, currently my attribute is enhanced by 125%. So it's actually giving me um, like 12,000 frost resistance instead of 4,400. Um, and it all of that is explained right here. Um, <clears throat> and it does get quite expensive and it does cost gold to enhance. Um, so you start out at 5 and then it goes to 10 and then I think 35 and then it just increases by quite a lot. Um, so after you get everything to however many embers that you want, then you come in here and enhance. Um, so far I have everything level 5 for basic enchant stones, everything like level 4 for advanced enhanced stones. Um, and then I'm still working on the um, supreme enhanced stones, but pretty much everything is level 1. On those and it does increase your BR by quite a lot so come in here um, get all of the platforms opened first and then once they're at the um, desired ember level um, then start enhancing them otherwise you're just gonna waste all of your stones and all of your gold for no reason so um, that's pretty much it for armor um, just that panel, uh, there's quite a lot more things to do with armor, like fusion and all that stuff, but I won't get into that in this video. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, um, please comment, like subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. Um, I apologize for the video being so long. There's just so much stuff to do in this single panel. Um, so if you guys have any questions, any concerns, anything that I missed, please feel free to comment and I will reply as soon as possible. So um, please share the videos if you like them. Um, if you're getting anything out of it, um, then you're welcome. Um, because uh, making videos is fun for me. So all right, guys, um, take it easy. I'll keep gaining BR and making videos. <laughs> I hope that you guys are gaining BR too. Alright, have a good night guys. Bye.